right, welcome. This is a very important lesson. I'm actually going to go very simple here and use an Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to cover the concept of dollar cost averaging and dividend reinvestment plans, otherwise known as DRIPS. All right, I have a great American company, and this is actual data. Now, there could be um, you know, some small rounding errors here, but basically, um, I took a company and um, I put for 10 years, I put $300 into this company stock each month for 10 years, um, and the total amount invested came out to $36,000. So $3,600 a year times 10 gives you $36,000 invested. So what I did was um, I sent them a check for $300 each month, and whatever the closing price was at the beginning of the month, I took $300, I divided by the share price, and that's how many shares I then purchased. So then it can't, what, come, what happens here is I get an average share price. So as you can see from the first to the second month, the stock price dropped quite a bit here. And so in that second month, I was able to purchase more shares, thereby lowering the average price that I paid for my total 17.47 shares. So I keep doing this over time and notice that um, during the year um, this company paid a 22 cent dividend and they only paid one dividend for the year and it was 22 cents and so in my calculation um, I basically acquired some more shares of stock through that dividend and you can kind of see that in this column over here. There's my $22 um, um, dollars that I received in dividends on the shares that I had, the 100.02 shares and I uh, basically got 0.69 of a share because the stock price was at 31.87. So as we go down, um, you could see that the average price is fluctuating and you can, if you look closely, you'll even see that the price is falling. My average price is going down because if you look over here, the actual price of the stock is falling at the same time. Once again, I have another dividend here this time through I get 1.96 shares and um, I was able to do that because of the 52.52 and notice the stock is now down to 26.84 I keep plugging along sending them my $300 every month and then I get um, more and more shares and, and if we notice in this region this company stock got down to $13.61 a share so in this area, I was acquiring a lot more shares every month with my $300. And you can see I'm acquiring more and more shares. As we go down in time, the beauty of this company is you notice that the dividend is also going up. It's now up to $0.40 cents a share. The next year, it jumps up to $0.55. Cents. The following year after that, it jumps up to $0.67. Cents. Notice as I acquire more and more shares, my dividend check is going up. So every time I get paid a dividend, you can see that my, my dividend check is going up. Now in 2006, it went all the way up to a dollar a share, and then the following year it went up to $1.50 a share. So now I'm just acquiring a massive amount of shares, and notice at this point in time I put in $20,800 worth of money, and my total investment is already up to 64000 So it's looking pretty good here. And, and what has really helped me here is the dollar cost averaging piece of is as that stock went down, I continued to buy it at a low price. And as the price went higher, um, I continued to buy shares. But if you know, notice, my average price is still only at $26.48. That's the beauty of dollar cost averaging. We can't be market timers always. And so when we're going in and acquiring a company, if we send them a check every single month and the average person can definitely do this. This is not hard to do. We could send them a hundred bucks a month, two hundred bucks a month, and over a long period of time we're going to get that average cost down. And at the same time we're going to be receiving dividend pay dividend checks if the company pays dividends, thereby acquiring even more shares. So on this dividend payout on 12 3 2007 I got 27.69 shares just from the dividend loan. And that's the dividend reinvestment plan piece. Taking that cash amount, otherwise getting in cash, taking it and wrapping it up into more company stock. That's what's called a drip. So you can see two huge concepts in play. I'm averaging the amount of shares that I'm purchasing, and then I'm also reinvesting the dividend. 
so if we get to the end of the decade, we get to the end of um, 2009, that I invested a total of $36,000, and the value, at, at, according to the share price at 62.44, I have $80,898.57. So that is was an extremely profitable decade, but let's say now we don't touch it. We stop putting the $300 a month. We do it for only 10 years, and let's say we go on to another company and, and do this with other companies. Watch what happens over the next four years. The share price skyrocketed. The dividend, remember we were 22 cents for the whole year? Now we're getting a dividend um, one, two, three times. So we're getting a buck, what does that come out to? A buck 65 a, a year in dividend. And you can see we're acquiring a lot more shares through our, our drip. And as we get down, you could see what's happening here is the stock price is going further and further higher. And now, if we look at the share price, the share price of the stock is up to $101 a share. Our average price is still at 24.18. And then the reason why it's falling here is that I'm basing the average share price only off of the money that I actually invested out of my pocket, which was $36,000. All those dividends I received that I reinvested, I'm not counting because that's just the benefit of holding the stock. We could do that and our numbers will still look good. But notice now in 2014, we're up to $150,000, close to $151,000 off of our $36,000 investment. Folks, this is why we need to dollar cost average and this is why we need to do drips. It doesn't take a rocket scientist. Obviously, yes, this is a good company, and I'll tell you the company. The company is McDonald's. We all know McDonald's, and when we look, and when that price really got low way back up here, that was during the Super Size Me. McDonald's is bad for you. And McDonald's, they're not fools. We have very well-run managers, very fine CEOs and executives. They figured out how to turn around the company, and they did so. And all the way up to today at $101 per share of McDonald's stock. The total amount that we, shares we received through our drip was 380 shares. And when we look at 380 shares and now that being valued at 101, you could see why we want to participate in drips. If this is an eye opening for um, people watching this video, um, you, you definitely want to include some of this in your portfolio. You could invest in drips by just going to the company's website. So find a company that you like, and you could do automatic investing directly through that company. And I'll show you how to do that. Um, and I'll actually use McDonald's website as an example. All right, here I am at McDonald's.com. And basically, most companies' websites, if you just go to their main website and scroll down, you always find something about investor relations or corporate or corporation. Right here, I'm going to just click on corporate. And then once I get in here, you always find something about investing, investors. So here's investors. So when I click on investors, it gives me a bunch of different things. I could go through and look at all these. But I want to go to investor tools. Investor tools, how to buy stock. And so right here, it says learn more and how to buy stock directly from the company. And then it says before you sign up for McDirect. Look at that. They put the little Mick in there. Mick Direct shares plan. Be sure to read and understand the details of the plan. So obviously there's a, some fees and things like that when you buy direct, but it's definitely not as uh, dramatic as paying $10 every time you buy the stock every month um, doing it on your own. So definitely, and, and what they do here is they definitely do the drip for you. So you get to choose in here, do you want to reinvest the dividend or not? So there you have it. There is a um, idea. It's a thought. It's a great way to invest. You could put smaller dollar amounts aside. It doesn't have to be $300 a month. It could be much, much smaller. You could do it with a bunch of different companies. Um, and it's just something else to do um, with, with your investing dollars. All right. Happy investing. Find some good companies.